I have returned! Daddy has returned! I have come back with milk and a couple packs of cigarettes for me. Welcome back! I have been feeling great. Uh, like, I I'll, I'll be lying if I said that I wasn't feeling great. I I feel phenomenal right now because, well, I just, I, I hadn't had as many worries as what I normally had. Now we're going to ruin it today. Mildly infuriating on reddit i've been walking around for four hours like this i'm a lawyer i don't know why that's infuriating to him i mean shit sometimes i wear different colored socks so shit. you should have paid more attention to what you were putting on why are you putting on your shoes in the dark i don't understand you shouldn't have po you you shouldn't have done this Dude is so jacked, but he can't even hit a nail into a piece of wood. How is that possible? One time, one more, two times. Okay. One, one more, two. Oh, no, 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 no. Very, very strong man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then she tries to come in and be like, okay, th this is what you're doing wrong, buddy. This is what you're doing wrong. He's like, no, babe. No, babe. Uh. Ha! Hit more nail! My delivery photo from Amazon. Why? Why why would they why would they put that there? This is Amazon in the UK. Okay, well maybe maybe they have some different rules over there. Any UK people let me know if you have different rules. Concerts in 2024. What? Oh, everybody on their phone. Yeah. I can't really say much. I, I've done that. I've pulled out my phone. Y'all need to make the venues bigger. <laughs> make the venues bigger, and then you won't have to worry about just seeing a cloud of phones. But see, even, even artists, even artists, they tell you to go out there with your flashlight, and they're like, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Bitch lasagna. Oh yeah, like they tell you to do that all the time, so I don't really see what the difference is. Oh my God, someone wrote a paragraph. Was at work last night, I deliver food for fast food place and see someone I used to know ordering, so when he goes outside, I approach and ask if they are the person and if they remember me. This was a person I knew of in high school when, or in school, we was, ooh. I knew of in school we were okay not friends at school or anything but we knew each other straight away i regretted approaching him when some of the first words were a sob story about how he has no job and last week was sleeping on streets you need to work on your grammar both of you have failed in school he then asked me if i could get some get him some free chips from my place and asked if i could and give him a lift home on my next delivery also like an idiot comma like an idiot comma uh, sometimes you could put a comma i had already get gave my him my number and today he messages asking if i could send him five euros i just said no who does that though i know it is my fault but still annoying we was not friends at school give him help but don't like ruin yourself with trying to give someone help it's not fair to you to have to put that uh, like whole thing on yourself so Find some resources, give him the resources, and then he could do it himself. You've given him help, but now he's getting it from someone who can do the time to give him that help. Like, you have your own life to live. You, you can't take care of everybody else's. This illegal goal given by the referee knocked us or knocked out us... What is up with people's typing? This illegal goal given by the referee knocked out out us of the World Cup qualifiers 2026. It was uh, an immense amount of work rate, but uh, this is the moment. Uh, this is the moment. That is a corner all day long for Qatar. The entirety of the ball has gone out. That yeah, it had corner. gone out. Uh, okay, I, I don't really watch soccer. Is this actually a bad move that they did? All day long for Qatar. Well, I mean, it, it would make sense in any other games. Like, there's the line right there. If that's out of bounds, then uh, what's the big deal here? It, I, I agree with this person. Brother asked me to make him rice, presumably, presumably. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Because the rice is empty and he didn't want to bother opening the new bag. That would be fair. I'd be like, hey, can you make me some rice? Like, uh, okay, whenever you know something is about to come up, like, say, the, the dishwasher at a kitchen, it, like a kitchen workplace the dishwasher goes off and it's like oh someone's gonna have to unload those dishes but i'm right here but i want to be doing something else but then there's more people that are coming back so i'll just sneak on out of here it's a shitty thing to do but sometimes depending on what it is there have been multiple examples of that in the real world and depending on what it is sometimes 
you just want to get away <laughs> the city carpet has a bush on the street oh it does <laughs> what the uh i have seen in florida they do this in the street like if if there was a, well it doesn't make sense for this because no kids are going to realize like what the hell this means what this usually means now is that they blocked off part of the street so that way it's a pedestrian only walkway i figured that out so while i was gone for some reason somehow i came across this dude who also like makes videos let me see if i can find him dude this dude okay his name is the traffic street beats they go to different stoplights and different railroad crossings and stuff and they just record the stoplight flashing yellow arrow left turn traffic lights grand boulevard in russell street i want to know who's getting mildly infuriated from this <laughs> look, look at the shorts okay I've, I've seen a couple of these shorts That, that short goes so hard for looking at traffic lights before an upgrade. I'm not making fun of the dude. I'm just saying, wow, this is crazy. I did not know there was a community of people who watched the traffic lights. That is insane. Purposely blocking a three reserve space for electric cars at my work. why owner is announcing i offer my car as tribute nice tires be a shame if something happened to them yeah that's what this dude is doing <laughs> oh oh wow why would you put a fridge like that in the middle of the room is it because you didn't want to have to enclose all this did you take this wall out and then realize there's no actual place for the fridge so you put this back up who the hell would think this is a good idea that that's kind of what i'm wondering the only thing i can think of is that it was once a closed kitchen and they knocked down the walls and couldn't figure out how to make the fridge work that this is my thought one of the guest children cut unripe watermelon we were growing oh those little shits they probably were just playing around they didn't know so okay whatever car got stolen via rfd pairing with iphone fob was on my nightstand my model requires a second key remain in a hidden slot in the center console to use remote start black sedan is the locator You're a sneaky little shit, you know that? Taking somebody's car. Being all nonchalant about it. Wow. So, for starters, for starters, for starters, for starters, OP is an idiot. So, if your area is prone to having things get stolen, which there are plenty of areas around the world that are like this, or at least in the United States. If you live in an area that things can get stolen, why would you leave the key fob out in the car so that way someone could steal it? You left it in there so you could do your remote start and you didn't bother to take it out. And you're just like, you know what? Free car, free car for you. Your fault, mostly. Second thing, why would a car company need to have the second key remain in a hidden slot in the center console to use remote start that's pretty goddamn dumb i i wouldn't even want to own a car that did that because that just seems really bad unless you have a garage or some place that you could store the vehicle and make sure that nobody messes with it that's really dumb so that's stupid on the car and stupid on this person for taking the car but mostly stupid on the original poster these tops that never come off one shot yeah I hate trying to open peanut butter. It's so goddamn annoying. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I I'm gonna sit here and watch some more D traffic beats. See you in the next video.